Do you get in a stiff gear change in your Ford Fiesta? Especially when you're trying to move the gear lever forwards and backwards, although it's okay side to side. The problem isn't at the gear lever end, it's at the gearbox end. So stay tuned and let me show you how to fix it. Check the car up high enough so you've got access to this plastic cover on the front of the gearbox here. It's held in with eight clips around the uh, periphery. Unclip them and take the cover down. Now disconnect the cables from the gear change arm. This is the gear change arm here, this large steel part that uh, looks a little rusty on this uh, car. A small pry bar will do to get that gear linkage off and this lower one comes off by pressing this button and pulling it off the ball joint. Now we need to clear these cables out of the way. I've applied a little penetrating oil just round here and into each side there where, the, where these uh, attachments fit into the bracket on both of them. It makes this job a little easier because this is quite hard on your fingers. You might want to use a pair of grips for it actually. But if you take hold of of the bottom end of the cable and turn it clockwise about an eighth of a turn or so you'll see that these little orange pit have moved outwards a little bit and the cable attachment becomes free of the bracket so move the cable out of the way the same on the top one it's a little awkward and difficult with your fingers now with your eight millimeter socket undo the four screws that hold the rear side of the plastic cover to the gearbox. The four screws are positioned here as I'm showing you with these red arrows. This front one here is easy to get at but you will need an extension bar to get at this one, this one and this one here just to one side. I found it easier to get the uh, screws out with the 8mm socket on a screwdriver handle. Anyway, now the dog can see the rabbit it's the movement of this gear change arm on this pivot that gets stiff and causes the stiffness inside. I'll explain a little bit more about how that happens in it a little further into the video. Now, at this stage, pull off this circlip. With a small screwdriver, lift the gator off the back of this gearbox connection. And with a suitable pry bar, get behind the gear change lever and pull it forwards off its pivot. You'll see a ball joint receiver coming out of this gearbox connection. We'll be coming back to that in a minute. For reference in a few moments, this pivot shaft is about four hundredths under 12 millimeters in diameter. Before we move on to attending to the gear change arm, give this uh, pivot a clean down with a brake cleaner or some meths or similar. And then with a piece of 1200 or 1000 wet and dry, give it a good polish up all the way around. Then finish up with another clean. Just to explain the root cause of this problem, the hole through this cast steel gear change lever is fitted with a bush, which on earlier gearboxes is a plastic bush and on later gearboxes is a phosphor bronze bush. The root cause is that this casting is ordinary steel and is prone to rusting on the surface because of course right there on the front of the gearbox it's in the worst possible environment. Water and dirt get in between the gear change arm and the bush inside from both ends and causes the inside of that hole to rust in much the same way as you see on the outside here. That in turn squeezes the bush and what that does is it squeezes the bush onto its pivot shaft as it rusts more and more it gets tighter and tighter particularly when the gearbox gets hot because the pivot pin gets hot and of course the pivot pin expands when it gets hot because that too is steel. So to alleviate the problem, hopefully pretty much permanently, or at least for long enough to do many tens of thousands of miles, we mentioned that the pivot pin is about four, four thousandths of a millimetre under 12, 12 millimetres in diameter. So we'll call it 12 millimetres. Get yourself a nice sharp 12 and a half millimetre drill. If you have to buy a drill for this, then perhaps go shade smaller, 12.3 or 12.4. But I'm using a 12 and a half because I've already got a 12 and a half. And on the workbench, put your drill bit in your drill and very gently drill through the bush. I've already done this off camera. So as you can see, it goes through easily. Don't push hard, don't spin fast. 
remember you're drilling into plastic and you'll end up then with a 12 and a half millimeter hole down the inside now we can put it all back together but there's a few precautions to take as you do so and the first is to remove this ball joint receiver from this ball on the end of the gear change lever I'll show you what to do with that in a few moments and apply a little lubrication to the inside of the bush using a high quality high temperature grease I'm using molly grease here also known as CV grease uh, you could use Ceratec if you've got some left over from a brake job also put a little bit around that ball joint and into this ball joint cup keep your grease handy though because we'll be needing some more of it when we're underneath again back under the car put a little bit of molly grease inside the uh, ball joint receiver here and take the actual ball joint part itself orient it so that the splits in the sides are vertically above one another and fit it into the aperture easier done from the front also now put a little lube on this ball joint and on this pivot shaft now bring the gear change lever up and offer it into position on the pivot shaft slide the lever into its pivot shaft and at the same time pull the gator over the gearbox chain shaft Put your finger at the back to hold the ball joint cup into place. Use a pair of pipe grips to snap the ball into its cup and make sure the gator is properly in place. And return your circlip to the pivot shaft. From here on in it's pretty much uh, reassembly is the reversal of removal. Apply a little uh, molly grease to this uh, chain shaft and also into, into this lower ball joint cup. Put the upper cable back into position first. One way that helps to make it easier to uh, find the position that the cable adjuster goes into is to put the end on the shaft there and then that will pretty much fall into place in the bracket and turn the end of the adjuster anti-clockwise to lock it into place. And pretty much the same here. Press the button on the back of the uh, ball joint receiver and it slots onto the ball joint. And finally, clip the outer cover back on. Et voila! It now slides through all the uh, positions quite easily like it should. If you got value out of this video please give it a like down by the title, maybe consider supporting the channel, links in description and I shall see you in the next video.